starting to rain. <laughs> that seems fitting. The new year has begun and it's starting to rain. We're gonna have this wonderful background for this video. Rain pouring down. Is there anything better? I don't think so. Hi guys, I'm Francesca. Welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year! We are in 2019. We made it. Humanity has not caused its extinction yet, so that calls for cheers and celebration, I think. This is so exciting. This is the first video going up in 2019 and of course it could be nothing else but my reading goals and resolutions for 2019. And I love that I'm filming this on the last day of 2018, which for you guys it's yesterday, because the last day of the year is giving birth to the goals and resolutions that I want to accomplish in 2019, in the new year. And I just love that idea. So without further ado, let me tell you what my goals for 2019 are because there are quite a few of them. And that is because I have such a good feeling about 2019. I am so excited. It's going to be a great year. I just, I can feel it, okay? And I cannot wait, I'm just, I'm so excited. So, I have divided this video in two parts. In the first part, I'm going to focus on bookish goals and the second part is all about booktube resolutions. So they're mostly about me as a booktuber and about my booktube channel and about the booktube community. Reading goals for 2019. My first reading goal is of course the Goodreads challenge. In 2018 I set my Goodreads challenge for 30 books because I didn't want to feel the pressure to read more books than what I could manage. But 2019 is going to be different. I'm gonna double down because in 2019 I set my Goodreads challenge for 60 books. And that's not quite the truth though, because my real goal, like the goal that it set in my mind is 100 books. But since I didn't want to feel the pressure, I decided to go for 60 books on Goodreads. But I know that my mind will strive towards 100 books. And here's why. You don't have to read a lot of books to call yourself a reader. You can read five books in the whole year for all I care, as long as you're happy with what you're reading and as long as you are enjoying your reading. But at the moment, I do have the luxury of having time to dedicate to books. And I had that time in 2018 as well, but I did not devote that free time that I had to books. And in 2019, I want to do that. If I have free time, if I don't have anything else that I need to get done, I want to read, I want to dedicate my time to books. And if I do that, I can read so much more than what I've done so far. So in my mind, 100 books, that could happen. And for what concerns the kind of books that I want to dedicate my time to, in 2019, I want to explore new genres. I definitely want to read more nonfiction because I've read some nonfiction at the end of last year and I really enjoyed it. And I have found out since then a lot of nonfiction books that are so interesting and so appealing to me and that I really want to get to. So that's a priority for 2019. I also want to read more short story collections, I want to read more poetry, I want to read more classics. Now, I say this at the beginning of every single year and I never do it, but this year it's gonna be different, okay? You can bet your ass that I'll do it. In 2019, I'm reading at least one classic per month, okay? I said it, I'm setting it in stone, it's happening, okay? At least one classic per month and I'll do it, okay? You guys will see, it's gonna happen. And also, I do not want to shy away from big books. I want to read longer books. Last year, the longest book I read was around 500 and something pages, maybe 600 pages. 
I want to read longer books than that because if I enjoy a book, I want it to be long. I don't want it to end. So I'm going to read some big ass long books in 2019. Again, that's happening. 2019 is the year. The Rereadathon Challenge. Alex Black is hosting the Rereadathon Challenge. It's basically a reading challenge that lasts throughout the whole year and each month there's a prompt to reread a book that of course you've already read. And I haven't reread a book in a long time and I miss rereading books so much. I miss going back to a story that I loved, going back to a world that I want to explore again. I just miss that. And I want to reread books in 2019. I will make it a priority to do a reread for each month of the year following those prompts. Another reading challenge that I found, <laughs> and this is just for fun, you guys, I'm not taking it seriously at all, is the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge for 2019. I think that there are 40 or 50 prompts for the whole year. And I mean, they're just fun stuff, like read a book set in space, read a book written by an African-American author, read a book with pop sugar or challenge in the title. I think it might be fun. It's just something silly that might give you some ideas when you don't know what book to pick next. It might be fun. So I don't want to do all 40 prompts. I don't want to put that useless pressure on myself, but I would feel more than accomplished if I did 20 prompts or so in that reading challenge. If you guys want to check it out, all of this will be linked in the description down below as always. But yeah, I just thought I could put it out there and see what happens with this challenge. And the last thing for my reading goals for 2019 is a book buying ban. Now, it is not a real book buying ban because I know that I'll be buying books who am I kidding? So I don't want to say that I won't be buying books and then buy books and feel guilty because I had said that I wasn't going to buy new books. Let's just avoid all that shit. But what I do want to do is a different book buying ban. What I'm actually promising here is that if I buy a new book, I have to read or at least start that book within two months of its purchase. Okay, if that doesn't happen two months later, I won't be buying one book for the book that I bought but didn't read. Is it making any sense? Because I am at college right now. I mean, right now I'm at home, but I'll be going back to college soon. And I don't have a lot of space and it's just a bother to move all the books that I bought while I was at college back home. So in order to avoid all that nuisance, I want to buy books that I'm actually interested in reading or starting in that moment or within a few months. And I think that this will also ensure that I'll be more careful about the books that I decide to buy or to order online because I know that I'll have to start those books quite soon from their purchase. So hopefully it'll work. And now on to my booktube goals for 2019. First and foremost, I want to update weekly. At least one video per week. Not less, not more. If it happens more, well then, that's good. But at least one video per week. And last year, that would have been a huge commitment for me. But after Vlogmas, <sighs> after Vlogmas, I think I can do this. It doesn't seem so hard anymore. It seems quite manageable. So I think I can do one video per week. I can do that. And in 2019, I would like to start a series on my channel, perhaps one video every couple of months because I have to read more books to do this series. So I have to have the time to read those books. It'll all be clear in a second. Um, I want to start a series about Italian books that have been translated into English and so that you guys might read if you're interested in getting more familiar with Italian literature. And 
I'm not familiar with Italian literature. That's why I'm saying that I'll have to have the time to read those books. Because I haven't read many Italian books that have been translated into English, Italian books that might be famous abroad, that might be read abroad. As you guys have seen, I tend to read more international books or books that have been written by American or British authors and I want to change that. I want to read more books that have been written from authors that were born in other countries but I also want to read more books that are written by authors that were born in my country and I want to share that knowledge with you guys so this is a series that I would love to start in 2019 and it's gonna happen perhaps as I said one video every couple of months should be a good start so the first video in this series might be coming sooner rather than later and of course if you guys know about some Italian books that have been translated and that you have read or that you might be interested in let me know in the comments and I will get to those books for you and talk about them on my channel and my last booktube goal is to become more engaged with the booktube community I want to get to know more people more booktubers more subscribers I want to engage more in conversation, I want to support other channels as much as I can. For instance, I'm a Patreon for Stripped Cover Lit and hopefully I'll be able to be a Patreon for other YouTube channels. I don't know, I'll see what I can do, but I want to support this community as much as I can. I know that it should go without saying, but for every video that I'll watch in 2019, I'll leave a comment. It rarely happens, but it has happened that I've watched a video without leaving a comment because I didn't have the time to write in that moment, because I couldn't, because I thought that I would do it later, whatever. It's not gonna happen in 2019. I just want to be a more active part in this community because it has given me so much and it keeps on giving and I want to give back. And this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Let me know in the comments if you have made some resolutions for 2019, whether they are bookish or not. Definitely let me know. I hope you enjoyed watching. I wish you all a great, happy new year. And I'll see you guys very soon with another video. Warm hugs.